Hey, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I would like to introduce a new segment called Cooking with Nonel. Tonight we're going to be making Nove cookies, one of my favorite and probably easiest desserts to make. The cookie mixture takes about 5 to 10 minutes to make, and then setup time is 30 minutes. So without further ado, let's get over to the stove and start cooking. So to start this, we're going to go ahead and turn on our burner. We're going to want to work on a medium heat. The few ingredients that you will need is butter, granulated sugar, milk, unsweetened cocoa powder or cacao powder. They are interchangeable. Tonight we will be using cacao powder, uh, creamy peanut butter, vanilla extract, and quick cooking oats. All right, you want to start out with your butter. It's going to take a whole stick. Just go ahead and chop it up into little pieces so everything melts easier. And you can use a spoon for this. I prefer a whisk. All right, so butter in. Now we're gonna go two cups of sugar. And we're gonna do a half a cup of milk. Alright, so you want to keep mixing the contents until it becomes one mixture over medium heat. And we'll go ahead and fast forward this until we reach the next point. All right, you'll start noticing it's starting to bubble up a little bit. That's what you want to see. It's about to start the boil. Now when it starts popping a lot, set your timer for one minute because you don't want to burn this. So you're just going to keep stirring. And we got that rolling boil going. We're going to stir for 60 seconds, take it off the heat. Add our vanilla extract, our peanut butter, and our oats. What you don't want to do is leave this on longer than 60 seconds because you do not want this mixture to burn. All right, that's 60 seconds. We'll go ahead and add our vanilla extract. One teaspoon. Put a nice little pot there. Add our half a cup of peanut butter. Alright, when all that is nicely mixed in, then we're going to add three cups of oats. And I use the whisk initially for this, just to kind of get everything coated. Uh, the whisk will start to get clogged up with the contents, and then I'll just switch over to the spoon to finish it off. All right, now that I have the consistency I want, let's go ahead and lay them out. All right, now you just set the timer for 30 minutes, let them rest, then come back and enjoy. See you in 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes has elapsed, and these cookies look amazing. I couldn't be more happy. They firmed up nicely. They look delicious. I'm ready to jump in. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.